next up, uh, Josie and Antonio, please. Let's go. Josie, why are you connected to food? I mean, I've always been like a chubby kid. So right. two and a half years ago, I went vegan actually for my mental health. I was having like a quarter life crisis, losing a boyfriend and losing a job all in the same week. And that also came with a completely depleted bank account. And um, it was really tough. And you bounce back from adversity, right? Got to bounce back. And that's called life, yeah? Wow. This is an herbal tonic noodle soup. The base is dried shiitake mushrooms, lemongrass, miso, and garlic. It looks like baby food with noodles on top of it. Definitely not the dish I would have done for Ramsey. And is it supposed to be that hot? Yeah, the Thai chilies here are really fresh. No, but taste that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I didn't ask you like it. I asked how hot it is. With the women slightly ahead in the signature dish challenge. Is it supposed to be that hot? I like it. Yeah, I didn't ask you like it. <laughs> Josie, a vegetarian, is spicing things up. The sauce is super hot. It's a little bit underwhelming. OK. So that's a two for me. Thank you. Executive chef Antonio is hoping to trounce Josie's super hot dish with his blue cheese smothered pork chop. Yeah, you caramelize the pork beautifully. Corn delicious. That is a very strong four. Well done. Thanks, chef. Good job. That's a wink to my mom and dad right there. It's like, uh, uh, uh. Look at your boy now. Bryn, a line cook from Rhode Island, makes her first impression with a chimichurri marinated flank steak. Great potential. Uh, I would have given that a four. Had it been seasoned properly tonight, you've got a three. Great chef. Thank you. So it was just, oh, it could have been a four if it had more salt. In my head, I was like, no. Where are you from, bud? I'm originally from Rogers, Arkansas. I'd never been outside of Arkansas or Missouri. <laughs> N never. I saw a palm tree and I was like, holy <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a uh, beautiful pan-seared trout, asparagus, brown butter, hollandaise, and a uh, green tomato jam. That's delicious. Thank you, chef. Fish is cooked beautifully. I'm going to give you a four. Good job. Thank well you, done. chef. Next, it's a battle of sous chefs, as Kentucky chef Peyton hopes Chef Ramsey will think his pork chop with parsnip mash is a front runner. Presentation, rustic. The parsnip needs to be a little bit creamier, because it's lumpy. Did you take the core out? Because it's grainy. It's bland. I kind of feel like a dog just on the floor, and the owner is just coming over and beat me with a newspaper. So that's a two. Thank you, chef. I feel like I let my team down. Colorado chef Victoria is banking on her pan-seared chicken thigh and vegetable risotto to recoup some points for her team. How did you cook the chicken? I pan-seared it. Mm. Chicken's delicious. Thank you. It's a very strong four. Well done. Thank you, sir. <laughs> With only two rounds remaining, meal prep chef Ava hopes to defeat Alex, a line cook from Hudson Valley, New York. Where are you from? Anchorage, Alaska. I think it's a Hell's Kitchen first. I think we've ever had anybody hey, yeah, hey, in huh? 20 seasons uh, <laughs> from uh, Alaska. So what I made for you is Ava Flava's orange chicken. This is really happening. He's right there. He's about to eat my food. Hi. So the rice is undercooked. Your broccoli is so much more tasty than that. You're the Ava flavor. And right now, it's lacking flavor, young lady. Uh, I'm going to give it a two. Thank you. Alex, uh, describe the dish, please. I have for you a pan-seared duck with a soy whiskey glaze reduction and sauteed bok choy. Sliced way too thin, so it's way overcooked, which is a great shame, because the actual flavor, delicious. So it's a three. It should have been a four, but it's a three. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I was overthinking the duck. I know I can do better. This is not the best I can do. Uh, 26 to the blue team and 25 to the red team. It's so close. Let's go, the last two. Morgana. It's up to you, girl. And Jay. Let's go, please. My heart is beating very hard right now. I'm the last person to go, so I know my team is definitely riding on me to go ahead and bring this home for us. Describe the dish, please. So I did a crawfish etouffee. Oh, God. Please be bad. I've just never known any chef in America to get an etouffee flavorsome in 45 minutes. 
Any chef in the country would be spending 45 minutes cooking the roux out. I just don't know why you would do a toupee in, in 45 minutes. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I hope I can do it. The color's nice. The spice is raw, and the flour's raw. It's not a roux, it's ruined. Damn. I'm going to give that a two, Jay. And I'm like, oh, rookie mistake. A dark roux takes forever to make. Damn. Morgana, how old are you? I'm 21. Stop it. You look 16. I have a baby face, but yeah. I have an old soul. The love of food comes from where? I accidentally got a restaurant job when I was 16. Um, they put me on the line. So you started working behind the line at 16, dropped in to the deep end. Yeah, I had no idea what I was walking into. It's amazing. And how did it affect you? Did you rise to the challenge? Did you? Um, I definitely did. Um, I became the best at my restaurant. I not only cooked, I also served, I've bartended, I've catered. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. That's good. Describe the dish, please. Um, today I made for you a pan seared duck with Brussels sprouts, prosciutto, and carrots with a rich yeah. pan sauce. Uh, visually, it looks beautiful. Thank you. Chef Ramsay just kind of sits there and like ponders, oh my God, like, is it bad? Is it great? Like, like, tell me. There's only one dish that hasn't been scored in the Young Guns Signature Dish Challenge. It looks beautiful. And now Morgana can either win it or lose it for her red team. I think all we need is a three. I'd like to give her five. Congratulations, Morgana. Damn, come on, man. We're so... Uh, that close. Well done. Head back, please. Good job. It actually feels like I'm dreaming. It doesn't feel real. He's definitely an idol of mine. Good job! I have a picture of him hanging in my kitchen. Morgana, dish of the night. Ben, I'm just super happy that I could impress him. Congratulations. You've won it for the team. Thank you, Chef. Well done. This reward tonight is very special because you'll be dining at the Hell's Kitchen Season 20 Young Guns Prize Restaurant, Gordon Ramsay Steak 2.0. You'll have three Hell's Kitchen winners joining you. Oh, my God. Season 17 winner, Michelle. <gasps> season 18 winner, Ariel. Oh, my God. And season 10 winner, your very own sous chef, Christina. <laughs> Like super like about empowering women and so knowing that there is strong females out there who are doing what I want to do that's a huge inspiration